Welcome to the making of Opera de Nero, a freestyle made for two-time Olympian Canadian dressage rider Jacqueline Brooks. In early December 2013, Jacqueline Brooks contacted me about making a new freestyle for her horse, De Niro. I thought I'd make a movie about the steps involved in making a freestyle, how instead of using pre-existing pieces, we built this music from scratch, using only live musicians. The first thing that has to happen when we're designing a freestyle is for the rider to design the pattern. Then we have to discuss what music to use. One of our favorite curves was for this horse, Grand Gesto, using some Vangelis music. And this is the type of reaction I'm after when I've designed a curve. About five years ago, I started doing original music and building music from scratch. The first project I did was used for Grand Gesto, but also for this horse Balmoral. When I make the music, my goal is to accentuate the horse's movement and not overpower the horse with too much dramatic music. And sometimes I've even had the opportunity to sing live with Jackie. about that ladies and gentlemen Jackie Brooks and Tamara Williamson so my name's Tamara Williamson I'm a dressage rider and a musician and I've recorded and produced six records in North America and in Europe I've done a lot of my projects with this guy this is Mitchell Girio on bass and we recorded this cur at his studio in downtown Toronto and now, let me introduce Morgan Doctor. So the first thing we record is Morgan laying down the drum beds for the whole track. And we use this as a kind of a map for the whole piece. I then take the drum track back to Jackie and she rides through it, making sure all the beats work. Then we add the piano. So it would be the bottom. It almost sounds like Vince Guaraldi to me. Isn't that weird? I think it sounds awesome. I don't know. No, it sounds great. <laughs> I just want to make, A, I want I don't to know sure who Vince whatever is. The Charlie Brown music. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you said Charlie Brown right away. I know. Yeah, yeah that's it. it was, I, I, was I love Charlie you know Brown. That's fine. <laughs> I'm a huge fan. Mm. Yeah, we'll just, I'm we'll, a huge we'll, fan. We'll, we'll throw in every reference into this, into this recording. <laughs> and, <laughs> so, as you can see, it's hard, but fun. And we do a lot of fiddling around to try and make the music fit within the drum beats. And then the next thing we added was this fellow. And 
and how awesome is that? Such a joy to work with Joey Nesaforo. And then a little bit of me. I'm just hoping there's nothing up my nose at about this point. So we put that with the horse and then we start to add the strings. This is my friend Karen playing with the guys from Our Lady Peace. And this is the wonderful Kevin Fox playing with Steve Page, formerly of the Bare Naked Ladies. I asked these guys to put on strings. I actually send them the tracks and they add the strings. Do a beautiful job, as you can hear. And how do they know what to play? Well, I sing it on the track for them. Yeah, so you're pretty, pretty far, you're about as far as you can be from. Um, you sing it so I can hear you singing it with the guitar. In that key? Yes. In this key. I can hear your voice. Again. We spend a lot of time just trying to figure it all out. Is that going to be all right? You think? I think we we could just tell Richard. To go, uh, go for the A, and here's the reference. Yeah, why don't we? Because can we get out of the other piece in, in? You could do the other piece in A and stay in A. Would that? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Maybe. Let's tell him to put the whole thing in A. This is the wonderful Mitch Gerio. What can I say? Because I would probably take this part, I was thinking of trying to take this right down to just drums and the vocal. So it might sound really, because this is where she does the ones, but uh, it, so it's going to be a bit exposed. So, and okay, so we've got, I think we've we got keep going the first two any, and so going, yeah, until it's done. And then we added some guitar. C'est pas ton point de deux, plein temps de jour. And then we mixed it. Let's get that straight. And mastered it. And it was done. <laughs> She just has so much fun. And she just loves this horse. It just it's just wonderful. It's a great competitor. I know she's put her name in for the World Cup for our North American League. And she's been there before. She's always such a positive positive influence and a good example for how our athletes should behave. <laughs> 